first of all, I think intentionality is important. So I think um, naming what we're trying to foster is important. Um, and then I think there are sort of, there are a few components to helping students or, or residents or practicing clinicians or uh, faculty um, to gain wisdom from experience. The first is uh, fostering a set of practices that allows human beings, I think, to engage with their experience in a, in a different way. Um, and I'm talking about practices like gratitude, um, mindfulness, perspective taking, practicing compassion. These are, these are kind of like exercise. These are things that the more you do it, the more capable you're going to be um, when you have an even more challenging experience to integrate. So fostering these practices in medical students as an everyday thing. And I'll give you an example. Um, uh, one of the practices uh, you could put in the bucket of mindful practice is this capacity to, um, to take a pause so that you can clearly focus on what you're about to do. And so one practice is we call gel in and breathe. You know how doctors gel their hands with hand sanitizer? Mm -hmm. The use of the breath is a way to calm and focus. And it's a practice that a physician or a nurse or whoever can get into, which, which in addition to gelling their hands at the same time, they're taking a breath to focus now on the patient that they're about to go in and see. Um, with a clear mind. Um, so that's a good example of how you can just take these practices and put them into, um, into the everyday workings of, of what we do. Um, and then there are skills. There are skills of close listening. There are skills of reflecting that we can teach and model um, as we, you know, as we go through the medical students um, training, emotion regulation. Um, these are all skills that can be taught just like starting an IV. And it, in my, in my thought anyway, they are as much a part of medicine, well, probably more than starting an IV. Um, they certainly are as much a part of a skill in medicine as anything else we teach. So there are practices, there are skills, and then there's modeling. There's noticing and modeling. Um, I gave a talk not too long ago about naming what it is that's going on, what wisdom practice is happening in different parts of, an, of a clinical encounter that we don't often name. We might name, for example, the creation of a differential diagnosis. We'll say, doctor, what is your differential diagnosis? But we might not name um, the, the reflection or the perspective taking or the, the virtue of compassion that is being leveraged right then. So I think naming those things um, as you're going along in whatever it is that you're doing as a, as a teacher is also really important because then people start seeing it. Oh, that's wisdom in action. Oh, I see. Once we see it, now we can repeat it. 